Hello and welcome to the video lecture of FEA. I am Bhavik Soneji and today I am going to talk about various advantages and disadvantages of FEA. So let's get started. In the previous video, we have discussed about what is FEA and its various applications and how FEA is useful to solve engineering problems. So let's see today what are the benefits of FEA. By means of FEA, we can take care of any kind of geometry, whether it's a regular shape or irregular shape. As shown in this figure, we can find out the stresses or strain produced inside the cantilever beam, which is having a regular cross section area. We can also find out various parameters for complex geometry like bone, which is not having the regular cross section area. So by means of FEA, we can solve problems which is having regular or irregular geometry. One more benefit of FEA is we can take care of any boundary condition or any loading condition. As shown in this figure, the pressure is applied to the outer periphery of cro circular cross section. We can also apply internal pressure to this surface. We can apply a uniformly distributed load or a point load to the any point as shown in this figure. Also, here in third figure, you can see by fixing one end, we can give degree of freedom zero to any end. And by applying some force, we can find out the deflection like this. So, by means of FEA, we can take care of any kind of boundary condition or any kind of complex loading conditions. One more interesting benefit of FEA is we can generate any complex anisotropic uh, material very easily without any difficulty. Like as shown in this figure, this is a metallic cube which is having a different density at different point. Like at the edges, it is having a lower density but at the darker points, it is having a larger density. So it is an anisotropic material. We can also take care of composite material. We can find the deflection for this kind of complex material and we can do the structural analysis. Like in this example, this green portion is a metallic rod as well as this coil kind of thing is also made up of metal and this blue portion indicates the concrete material. So any kind of complex non-homogeneous material or anisotropic material or complex composite material can be easily created with this method. One more benefit of FEA is we can utilize the computer programs like ANSYS, Abacus, Gambit, MATLAB, SOLIDWORKS. So by means of this computer aid, we can plot the results and we can see how much deflection we can get or any other parameter we can plot. So the computer assists us to solve the numerical problems and it will save the time. So FEA is very beneficial in this manner also. One more advantage of FEA is this method is superior to the other approximate methods like Galerkin and rayleigh ritz method. When we use some admissible functions which are valid over the simple domain and have nothing to do with the boundary, 
however simple or complex it may be so these are the various advantages of fpa now let's see the disadvantage of fpa first disadvantage or demerit is it is a garbage in garbage out method so we have to be very careful while generating the equations as shown in figure the steps involved in fpa is like this first we convert the engineering problem into mathematical model then we do discretization which is converting the problem in smaller elements and then numerical solver will solve the problem and plot us the result so if we make some mistake in formulating the mathematical model we will get some output which is wrong and we are required a sound engineering knowledge or sound engineering judgment to interpret these results so this is the biggest disadvantage of fpa that we require proper engineering judgment and engineering knowledge to solve these problems and to validate also one more disadvantage is as the problem become complex the computational time required to solve that problem is also more so as you can see in this figure the shape become complex the time also becomes more to solve the problem so simple problem can be solved easily but if we are going for a complex problem then we require more more computer memory as well as time now in some categories of problem other methods are more effective for example fluid problems in fluid problems the problem is categorized by the boundary layers so in the fluid problem if the infinity boundaries are there then we have to give the elements to those infinity boundaries and it will become very difficult to calculate those problems by using fpa so instead of fpa the boundary layer or boundary element method is more effective than this method so in all uh, fluid problem which are uh, consist of infinity boundaries that are uh, effectively solved by the boundary element method one more disadvantage is in some problems there may be a considerable amount of input data i mean lots of data so errors may creep up in their preparation if we make input error then it will accumulate and it will give us wrong output so we have to be very careful in giving the input data in the fpm many problems lead to round off errors so computer doesn't know that the problem is so crucial and it will neglect the uh, data after the points so again as i have said in input data uh, error it will get accumulated and the computer works with a limited number of digits and solving the problem with restricted number of digits may not yield the desired degree of accuracy or it may give total enormous result in some cases for the many problems the increase in number of digits for the purpose of calculation improves the accuracy so this is also one more disadvantage of fpa so we have discussed almost all the disadvantages of fpa we have discussed advantages of the fpa and disadvantages of fpa hope you find it useful thank you